Hey, welcome to number part three. What's going on here? Hey, it's pretty messy when you've got a lot of numbers the same, multiplying them all together. Is there a better way? Two by two all that many times, eight by eight by all that many times. This is a very messy way of writing down a lot of numbers all the same that are multiplied together. Is there a better way? I think you might have already seen this before. Come down here though and let's have a look. Can you see what's going on here? This is a different way, isn't it, of writing those uh, many uh, twos and many threes, and many eights and many twelves. Hey, what's the connection here? What are we doing? Can you see the connection? How, can you see how this is, if you like, a shorthand notation down here? It's like shorthand, writing it shorter than in full. Okay, and so uh, can you see how it works? What's the number down here and what's this number up there in each case? Can you see the pattern that we're including in this sort of encryption of this long set of twos multiplied together? Well, I guess you can. This is the base number of which there are many and this is how many there are. Okay, so that's a nice condensed form, isn't it? It's really condensed down so that uh, we don't have to have all those numbers repeated. All right, let's have a look at the language that we use for this and see uh, if you can understand it. Here we are, use some of the numbers already. The base number is the one that occurs over and over again or recurs over and over. Okay, and the number up the top is the, called the index, the power or the exponent, and it's the number of times the base is repeated, if you like. Okay, so it's a good little system of indicating repeated multiplication. And what do we call this? We could call it 2 cubed, uh, because a cube 2 by 2 by 2 would, if you like, have a volume equal to 2 by 2 by 2, or the third power of 2, because the power up the top is 3, or 2 to the power of 3. So there's some language for you. I'd like you to get on top of that right now and just be aware of how we do this with repeated multiplication. Okay, let's look at some problems then, We're using that. And here's our definition for a start. We'll just come down here a little bit. Get that. Excellent. If n is a positive integer, a positive whole number, then a to the n is the symbol that we use when we've got n factors all the same. That's a very complicated way of saying it, isn't it? So the factors of a to the n are n a's, all of them along here, and would have n of them, okay? That's what they're saying down here, n factors of a to the n, they're all the same. So we're gonna use, remember, the same base in this work, and this work is called index or power or exponent rules or, or um, symbols. So we're going to see this a bit later on. At the moment, we're just going to introduce this method of abbreviating repeated multiplication, if you like, using the power or index or exponent form. Okay, come down and let's look at what we can do with it. Hang on, that's skipped a bit. Come back up here. Oh, there we are. So the screen clippings here are taken from Hayes publication, so you have a look in that book. So what does this mean now? Just testing out whether you understand the shorthand notation. It means the base three, where there are four factors, or four of them times together, and you could multiply them out to be 81. Or two to the fourth by three squared by seven. There's some advantages we're gonna see later on to writing numbers as powers or exponents of a base. So let's do two to the fourth. You've got to have four twos all lined up. Three squared is two threes, and seven is just an ordinary seven. Seven to the one, if you like. So if you multiply all that together, you get a thousand eight. Okay, can you see it's sort of a mystery code here? And we're going to come down and see a calculator popping up down there. I won't show you that yet. We're going to do it on the calculator as well. What does neg four squared mean? Look carefully, that four to the power of two, and then we make it negative. Okay, so here what it is, four to the power of two means four by four, 
and we make it negative out the front, so it's negative 16. It's different from this one. Hey, watch this. Neg 4 squared. The square is being done to the whole base called neg 4. So it's actually neg 4 by neg 4 because of that bracket. We'll look at more of that later on as well. But remember, the base number, a to the n, this is the one that occurs n times. And if it's a negative number, then there it is, that's how many times it will occur. Different from over here, mind you, where the negative is not included, the two is just on the four, so it's only the four that's being times by itself. And a negative travels down and stays out the front. What about this one? Are you getting the hang of it? Neg two cubed. So it means we've got three twos all multiplied together and the negative travelling down out the front there. Negative the answer of two cubed. So that's negative eight. What about this one? Look out, the base is the whole of neg two, not just the two. So it means it's a neg two by neg two by neg two. Watch this. Neg two by neg two is positive four by negative two is negative eight from your directed number rules. You've got to watch out for that sort of stuff. Okay, how are you going? Come down and let's have a look at it on the calculator. Now you need one of these dudes. This is a Casio 9860 plus graphics display calculator here. So if you turn it on and hit that key there, menu, you'll get this window. And uh, what we want to do now is work with just ordinary numbers. So we're going to go into run mode. So if you can scroll around the screen here with this button, so that's highlighted. And then if you hit execute, you will come into the run screen. So let's look at that. Okay, here's the run screen. I've done a few things with this. So if you hit execute, you get this screen. Now what we want to do is to start entering numbers on there. So here we are, hit two, and we get the two up there. Now we want the power. So here the power or the exponent. So that's that button down there, the hat. Okay, and if you hit that hat, it pops up, a little box up there pops up as a hole for putting your power or your index or your exponent in there. Okay, so then if you choose three, okay, it'll pop a three in that position. And then if you hit execute, it will give you the answer. So the calculator has this on board. Now this is the button here, what we call a hat if you like. That is a button for raising it to any power. You could use squared here next to it, but that'll only do a power of two. Okay, all right. Let's go down and have a look at some more with those negative sorts of things happening there. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the run screen again, there it is. This time, I want to put in neg two, so I'm going to put negative two and also hat here, this one, and square it. Okay, no brackets. If I hit execute, what do I get? I get neg four, because we're saying this part is two by two, and then you're sticking a negative out the front. Got it? Let's do it differently. Let's use some brackets. Now you can see here, there are some brackets in here. Those two brackets. So I've got bracket, then neg two, remember, neg two, bracket, and then hat, hat here, and a two. So we want hat two, and we've got neg two in brackets all squared. Ooh, different answer, come over here. If you put exe push execute to get the answer, here it is over here, it's positive four. What went on there? Well, negative two was all in brackets squared. So negative two was the whole base. Okay, negative times negative is a positive four there. So there's a difference there. Watch the brackets around the numbers that you're raising to a power. Do you want the number to be neg two, all squared? Then it's gotta have the bracket to show that that's the base traveling through uh, as a repeated factor. All right, are you ready to do some? Okay, let's have a look down here. And I want you to do these in two different ways. Uh, with these first ones, I want you to do it by hand, try and multiply it all out. 
and check with the calculator. Okay, in the second one, or uh, question three, they're a bit big to do by hand. You'll have to watch the brackets and do them with the calculator. And just remember your negative signs. A negative times a negative is a positive. I hope you remember why changing direction twice, twice puts you back in the positive direction. So if you do an even number of negatives multiplied, that should give you a positive. But you have an odd number like this. This would be negative times negative is a positive. Times by that negative would be a negative. Therefore, an odd number of negatives gives you a negative. Do you get it? All right, okay. I want you to pause the presentation and have a go, checking your work with the calculator. And I'm going to take you down to the answers now. Down here we've got some answers. Okay, I want you to check it out that you can use it from that basic definition as well as with technology. Okay, good luck. There's more series. There's more in this series of number. And I'll catch you then. But it's cheers for now.